The Secretariat of Tourism will make investments to demarcate the island's beaches while improving some of the department's tourist areas. Through a project presented to the Departmental Assembly, the Secretariat of Tourism seeks to invest in the demarcation of beaches in the archipelago in order to provide safe spaces for bathers. We are currently working on a project. And in the same way, we are about to start another very important project for our department in which we will be able to identify uh, the beaches with a tourist vocation. This is a project which is in compliance with several resolutions in the framework of the commitments with the Beaches Committee, where we as an administrator must ensure the safety of each of our bathers, thus the limiting of facilitating which are the bathing areas, which are the areas where you can practice some kind of water sports. At the same time, the head of the tourism office say that they will also provide maintenance to tourist sites that are currently a bit deteriorated. It is also a priority in our department to not only perform promotional activities as we have been doing but also to improve our different tourist sites. In this sense, we achieved this through the draft ordinance that was presented to the assembly and was approved. Therefore, this secretariat already has some important services that we are going to invest in the maintenance of some infrastructure. We have already advanced on previous studies. Finally, Tiela says that the island community should have a sense of belonging and helping the conservation of tourist sites and the knows when they are vandalized. We hope that after making these maintenance and infrastructure repairs, we as a community will ensure that people will make good use of these spaces. Two hundred and ninety-nine fishing licenses were delivered in an extensive campaign that will allow artisanal fishermen to be certified and can exercise their fishing activities safely. The issuance of licenses for artisanal fishermen is extremely important as it allows them to have peace of mind and security when exercising their fishing activities in a transparent manner and to have the benefits offered by the government to established fishermen. In this line, the Departmental Government of San Andres Providence and Santa Catalina through the Agriculture and Fisheries Secretariat, carried out the delivery of 299 fishing licenses to fishing cooperatives and associations. This event was held in the Walwyn Peterson Bent Hall of the Departmental Government Facilities in response to the call made by the Secretariat's coordinating staff of the area. It should be noted that this is a process that has been carried out throughout this year in different sectors of the island where the portfolio carried out all the affiliation and registration of fishermen as independent or linked to associations that wish to renew or create their certificates. The authorities managed to recover in record time a cell phone stolen from a tourist on the beaches of Sprat Bight. Followed up by means of surveillance cameras and the special group of the National Police achieved the recovery of a cell phone that had been stolen from a tourist in the downtown area. The victim is grateful for the work done by the authorities who were able to recover the cell phone in record time. Today I am immensely grateful to the National Police because in half an hour they recovered my phone that was stolen on the beach since someone passed by and took the phone. The National Police ratifies the commitment it has to the community of the archipelago and expects to continue working to reduce the rates of various crimes, mainly theft. In other news, the departmental government, through the Secretariat of Education, has all the preparations ready for what will be the return to the in-person parade on August 7th after two years of hiatus due to the pandemic of COVID-19. The department adjusts details for the return of the traditional parade on August 7th, the date on which the Battle of Boyaca is commemorated. The government has announced that the celebration of the date will be held on Saturday, August 6th in the sector of San Luis. During the event, there will be artistic expressions of the insular department as confirmed by the Secretariat of Education. Es una fiesta, eh, cultural. It is a cultural festival, a tradition that has been going on for many years where the community takes advantage of this space to show a little of our culture. At 8 o'clock in the morning, a religious celebration kicks off the parade with a blessing and a short reflection of thanksgiving. 
Immediately, the Aga 7 traditional parade will take place where the military and civil authorities and the schools will be present. We count on the participation of all the public schools. The eight public schools will be in the parade and three private institutions. Then, right after the parade, a cultural program will take place, which is under the responsibility of the community of San Luis and the Departmental Secretariat of Culture. The parade will start this Saturday, August 6th at 9 a.m. from the Sound Bay Ring Road, taking then the Ginny Bay Pedestrian Street and ending at the San Luis Coliseum. The department's police made a statement today after a video was released yesterday in which a man apparently used a dog as shark bite. For the commander of the police department, this inhuman act should not occur in the islands and announced that the man involved was captured and prosecuted. El día de ayer, el departamento de policía San Andrés Providencia... Yesterday, the police department of San Andres, with its own personnel, achieved the capture and prosecution of a person who had been performing acts against a domestic animal. This is achieved thanks to the complaint and denounce of the community towards some videos. In this event, not only this person is prosecuted, but also Law 180 was applied, which is the one that says that an animal is not allowed to attack another. In this case, it is important to highlight not only the support of the community, but also the immediate attention of all the personnel from the surveillance model of the police department of San Andres. The commander also invites the community to take care of wildlife and domestic animals, and of course, to guarantee the rights of all animals on the island. And the finalist video clips of Clipfest 2022 are now available on YouTube, so you can vote for your favorite. On the YouTube channel of Tele Islas, the videos of the finalists for the video clip contest Clip Fest are already available so that people can vote for the favorites in this great program. Tele Islas YouTube channel ready so you can go up and check out the six video clips where they were classified in this fourth version of Clip Fest. Uno please go, uno share, uno give like, and uno support uno favorite video. Uno remember, say dislike, no one be determined for be, for, for say who will be the winner, but it will get extra. We went to the jury take the decision. So, uno go, uno support, uno participants, so uno really, really, really like, and uno no lose it all at all. Remember, so uno can do it till the 7 of August, till 6 o'clock the evening. After that, no more opportunities, no if you can share and get likes. So, uno go out and support uno participants of this clip says in a this fourth version. It is important to emphasize that the votes show YouTube are not decisive, but they do contribute to the final decision of the jury. Remember that you have until August 7 to cast your vote. And now it's time for Sport News with Victor Fusalba. Hello, here are the best sports of the islands. A professional player who came to share his experience with the Young Islanders is Jan Kalanchi. In the summer baseball tournament that should be starting today at the Willingworth May Stadium, a tournament in which four teams are participating, each with three foreign professional reinforcements. In addition to playing, these foreigners will be sharing their knowledge and teaching the young Islanders. One of these reinforcements is the Venezuelan Jan Calanche, a professional player who has played in the American, Venezuelan and Dominican leagues. We spoke with a foreign player who told us the following. I come again to participate in the International League, but this time I come with another purpose to support minor league baseball, to teach a little of my experience that I have had in the course of these 12 years playing professional baseball since I was signed, since I was 16 years old. I played with the Phillies, Boston, and I played in Venezuela, the United States, and the Dominican Republic. I want to take this little bit of experience that I have acquired and teach it to the boys because the truth is that there is a lot of talent. I arrived on the island and this is the fourth year that I have come here and I was surprised because there is more material than normal and I think it is time to put a little more seriousness in the part of the sport and especially in the discipline of baseball because we have to work and take into account these boys because we have a first major leaguer in the islands and I think that can be a push for them too. San Andres and Providence, Jan Kalenche loves you very much. Exciting baseball will be experienced again at the Wellingworth May Stadium 
a tournament organized by the departmental government through the Sports Secretariat and the Departmental League. And in another scenario, in search of reintegrating with softball, a group of women dedicate 